Hi guys, this is Holly. Tonight is February 15, 2010, and I figured for tonight's update I would do a little history about me and what's been going on, especially for those who've just recently seen my most current videos about my uh, exacerbation, my MS exas exacerbation I had in um, January of this year, and um, so that everybody knows why I'm talking about stem cells and, and where I'm coming from and what I'm doing. Um, basically, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in November of 2004, and within a very short time frame of my diagnosis, I couldn't stand, walk, see, or drive. Um, in four years from my diagnosis, I was very aggressive in my treatment with my MS. I was very fortunate to have a, a neurologist whose only goal was to keep me functioning. Um, I do have secondary progressive MS, um, a very aggressive form of multiple sclerosis, and uh, he didn't worry about that. He just wanted to do everything to keep me walking, to keep me functioning as long as I could, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, unfortunately, I exhausted all the resources here, and I needed to look at something different, and not out of a desperation, but out of a desire to move forward and to live life. Um, even the type of life I was gonna live, I didn't know what that was gonna be, but to do anything. Not out of a des desperation, like I said, just making smart choices, um, knowing the choices I was making, and taking my own health care into my own hands and having a say what was gonna happen. Um, I did intensive medical research, not not just at the clinic that I went to, which was cell medicine, um, but to clinics worldwide. And not just for stem cell treatments, for all sorts of different type of treatments. Anything that would give me hope at having a little bit longer of, of a future and mobility. Um, I was fortunate enough to, to find a great clinic that I was very comfortable with. Um, fast forwarding to November of 2008, I've decided after months and months of research and understanding to have stem cell treatment f to treat my multiple sclerosis. The clinic that I went to, they actually do eight spinal injections of donated stem cells, adult donated stem cells that come from a umbilical cord, a woman who has a healthy baby, then donates that cord and, and they extract the stem cells from that cord. They also extract my own stem cells. They did a mini liposuction and they extract stem cells from fat. And for those of you that really want to understand the science behind it, um, you know, you can find the published papers on fat-derived stem cells and their potential. Um, and if you really need help finding it, uh, you know, go ahead and, and check me out on my website, I Love My New Stem Cells, or email me at hollyhuber at gmail.com and I can forward that to you. Um, there's definitely scientific data behind it. So that's what I did. Now, fast forward to this last couple months when I had the flare-up, um, people were kind of confused. I, I, uh, what's been going on? I got a, a message on one of my YouTube videos that the very nice gentleman, he said, I'm really sorry to hear you had to go through this, and I'm really sorry to hear that the stem cell treatment didn't last any longer than it did. Then I realized to myself, I've got to explain everything. I know in my head what's going on. I know from my day-to-day -day experiences what's been going on, but you as a viewer don't know everything. So um, not because I'm trying to dis not, you know, not share everything. It's just that it's a lot of information, and it's a lot to take in. Um, so I had my treatment done, and the clinic that I went to, um, as time went on, they could tell the results were getting better and better. Right now, their success rate is about a 60% success rate for multiple sclerosis using fat-derived stem cells. That's amazing. That's amazing, just 60% of giving me hope that I could maybe function. Um, again, in my case, it worked exceptionally well. And um, after I had my treatment done, I was one of the first groups of patients that had the fat-derived stem cells. And the clinic didn't didn't know the potential yet because it hadn't been done in humans any place in the world yet with the fat-derived stem cells. As the months went on and they found that those fat-derived stem cells um, that were placed into an IV into my arm the last week I was there, they went off their regulatory cells that regulate the T cells. And um, like I said, I can send you the, the data on that if you really are looking for that. And um, they went, those cells went to work to reset my immune system, which here in the United States, there's some trials that are doing it, but they're using some very harsh drugs and they're also using stem cells derived from your own bone marrow. This clinic just happened to find out, or you know, they knew in theory that the fat drive stem cells would work and they worked amazingly well. This clinic started to save the cells after I went. So the end of last year, there was a space opening and I've kept in contact with them because I am, you know, a mover and a shaker and somebody that's aggressive to some degree in my healthcare. I kept in contact with the clinic and as soon as they had an opening, I went back so that they could save my stem cells. They have expanded their clinic. They have cryogen tanks in both Costa Rica and Panama. And uh, even if you're never gonna go back, 
they don't really worry about that. They're just working on making the best transition for the patient to make the best procedure that they can. And so now they save patients on stem cells. I needed to get my stem cells saved so when I did have a full exacerbation, I could have the opportunity to go back, get some more of those uh, regulatory cells so that my immune system could get turned back off. Just like an on and off switch, MS has an on and off switch. Um, and so I needed to do that. Like MS is different for so very many people, they're different things that can make you go into a flare-up. A lot of it's trauma-based if you have a tooth infection or you're, you break your leg or you get a cut. Anything, any variable can turn on your immune system. Well, I had to have a second liposuction, which is still an invasive surgery, um, to extract a second batch of my stem cells. And uh, that really did turn back on my immune system and tell my body, hey, hey, we want to overreact again and, and the symptoms want to come back. So. I was doing really well nine months after my treatment. I wasn't having symptoms. I was progressing forward. I, I'm on no MS medications at all, no MS disease modifying medications. And um, that's where that came from that I needed to go back. I don't think people, some people knew I was back in Costa Rica, but they didn't understand why. I chose to go back to have my stem cells saved for future use. Well, my, my immune system didn't want to stay turned off after the second surgery the variable of MS, you know, it's different for so very many people. And um, I understood the risk. And so my immune system was just wanting to attack and attack and attack. And it kept doing that. Again, I wasn't aggressive enough. Shame on me. That's some of my last videos. Um, I needed a little help from the solumedrol to, uh, to get the swelling down um, and get the flare up to stop. And I was fortunate enough that in uh, just a very short time that my flare up gone. Um, I'm walking, I'm driving again, I'm riding my bicycle again. And so I have to give credit to the stem cells that I did have a second time because not only the donated stem cells that go to repair the damage in the brain and the spine, but also the T regulatory cells that turn off my immune system. Both of them work in tandem, they work together. Well, the cells I just recently had, the end of last year, my second procedure, they're still in me. They're still they're still roaming around in my body. They're still doing what they're supposed to do. They have nothing out better to do but than to repair damage. So they're still doing that. So, um, you know, if I was on nothing and I would just have a standard MS flare-up and I take steroids and, and prednisone and all the other stuff that goes with it, there's a very good chance even after six months to a year, some of the symptoms would linger. All of my symptoms are gone. So I have to give credit to the stem cells and understand that that's one of the reasons I'm doing so amazingly well again after this. I am not going back on disease modifying drugs. Um, my new neurologist right now is really pushing me to do a chemo type drug, which I'm not gonna you know, give in to do right now. Um, I'm not gonna tell you that future down the line, maybe I'll go on another medication that's new back on the market. But for today, I'm just giving this the opportunity to do what it needs to do to keep repairing the damage and keep me healthy. So that's a little bit of my story and um, I need to update my website. I love my new stem cells.com. It just takes a lot of time. And uh, again, I'm still regaining my life even after a, year, a little over a year and a half, not even a year and a half yet, but almost a year and a half. And I'm just moving forward. And so um, I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm just sharing this because I think it's important so that people can see what's going on and understand it and know that, you know, that there's potential out there and that the environment is changing. Um, the medical environment is changing and we have so much information at our fingertips. We just have to now analyze it and figure out what's best for each one of us. Um, it takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of work and it's very, very inundating at times, but um, stay strong everyone and keep fishing for what works best for you. The answers, ask questions, never, never feel bad about asking a question, never hesitate on learning more um, and really understanding everything even if you ha have to ask three and four and five times even if you ask to ask one doctor and then another and then another do that I tell everybody that I don't care if I'm talking to somebody about about you know a back injury or you know diabetes type 2 diabetes or heart disease or whatever it is learn about your own health care and what benefits different things can do for you and what makes your life the best. So that's it for my, my update for tonight and um, I'm still doing really, really well. I'm so excited. Um, we're having a barbecue tonight so I'm going to go fix my burgers and we're going to eat and I'll talk to you guys soon.